it's fair to say that if you care about CSGO at all, you know who Twists is. Soft, doughy eyes, a sunshine smile, sick tats, even sicker hair, and a penchant for propelling projectiles into faces. Russell Twists Van Dalken has cemented himself as one of esports' most consistently world-class aimers. Like, this man isn't a man at all. He's an aimbot. Does Twist have a kit? Yes, he does, and I'm a scout. Well, here we go. For the job. Oh, God, I'm not. Oh! What? Oh, that's the badger. That's what you want to <laughs> see. But, as it turns out, he's also a bit of a weirdo. You see, inhuman aim aside, there's one, let's say, idiosyncrasy that sets Twists apart. My must grip. I have a very overextended claw grip. I'm kind of known for having a, a pretty weird grip. What's even crazier, of course, is how nasty he is in spite of it. And twist in the corner, there should be no way out. My God, how has he done it? Picking up a quick triple. So how and why did one of Counter-Strike's craziest crack shots develop such an unusual grip? What did sponsorships have to do with it? And is there a way to know whether it's better or worse, not only in terms of execution, but ergonomics? Let's find out. Okay, so first things first, make sure you like the video, subscribe to the channel, and turn on notifications so that you never miss a future episode of Cracked. Since, I mean, that's why you're all here, to watch this handsome boy talk about Counter-Strike. Now, for those who don't know, Twists is a Canadian Counter-Strike competitor who, in addition to boasting an Intel Grand Slam and nearly a million dollars in prize winnings, has long been regarded as having really really filthy aim. The TLDR is that after entering the competitive scene back in 2016, when he was 16, Twists bounced around such rosters as TSM and Misfits before being rightly identified as a prodigy and subsequently picked up by Team Liquid in 2017. Fast forward two years, he's winning every tournament in sight, cementing himself as one of the best aimers his game has ever seen, and helping to skyrocket North American Counter-Strike to unprecedented levels of success. But chances are, you know all that. And if you don't, you should totally check out our story of twists, since this dude's life story is awesome, wholesome, and genuinely very inspiring. But in any case, that's not what we're here to talk about. We're here to talk about his maniacal mouse grip. You see, unlike the vast majority of mouse wielders, Twists doesn't clutch his clicker in a way that conforms to any of the so-called standard grips. Instead, he, well, I'll let you see for yourself. You see my middle finger is over the right mouse button and my pointer finger is always hovering above mouse one. It's not just because I'm in the main menu or anything. I actually, it's always like this. I never actually have my finger on the mouse button ever. So what are these so-called standard grips, and why is Twists such a deviation? Needless to say, everyone holds their mouse differently. But the general consensus is that over the years, a handful of go-to grips have emerged. I mean, it was right there. And since you all love Colton's technical explanations so much, I thought I'd hand things off to him so he could exposit these different grips for you. Oh wait, he can't because he's a controller worshiping casual. Keck W. Keep talking all that shit, Dimitri. It's gonna feel that much sweeter when you finally catch this smoke. Speaking of controllers, if you wanna hear me talk more about controller grip, you should check out our cracked episode on left-handed gamers. I mean, you should check it out anyway, it's a good video. When it comes to mice, there's obviously a lot that goes into your grip. The size of your mouse, the size of your hand, your arm positioning, and mouse sensitivity are all going to factor into which mouse grip feels most comfortable to you. Now, while I definitely know more about how mice actually work, I have to admit, Dimitri, when it comes to actually clicking heads with them, you're probably the expert. So, by all means, gush about mouse grips. F***ing nerd. Oh, I will. Anyway, poking fun aside, the grips that we are here to talk about are the claw, the palm, the fingertip, and the myriad of variations and combinations thereof. 
Thankfully, there are tons of creators on YouTube who've already proffered infinitely more intricate explanations of said styles than I ever could, such as Rambo and Rocket Jump Ninja, but the gist of it is this. A palm grip is when the player lays their hand flat across the back of the mouse. It's generally regarded to be the oldest, most popular, and most comfortable of the three, and offers the steadiest form of hand control. The trade-off, of course, is that you sacrifice a ton of finger control. In fact, there are some extremely famous gaming mice that have done wonders to disseminate this type of grip, the most notable of which being the Zowie EC1, not to mention the innumerable sea of successors and spin-offs forged in its image. Next, you've got your fingertip grip, where the mouse is held and maneuvered solely using the tips of a player's fingers meaning that the palm floats above the back of the mouse and never actually makes contact with it. Contrary to palm, fingertip offers exceptional micro control, but can make it difficult to execute big sweeping swings. Lastly, there's the claw grip, which is kind of a hybrid between palm and fingertip. Here, the player anchors the backmost part of their palm to the backmost part of the mouse and grips the front and or mid sections with the tips of their fingers. Now, the differences between these various styles may seem pretty minor, but let me assure you, they're not. Mouse grips matter. Don't believe me? Just ask Garrick Foreman, a PhD candidate at Brock University who specializes in neuromechanics and ergonomics. If your body is used to using a palm grip, there's gonna be a certain synergy and sequence of muscle firing while you're using it. And if you're switching to something that is significantly different like that, so all when you lift your fingers up to go into a claw, all of your extensors are shortening, your flexors are lengthening, everything is changing pretty much. So what is it that makes twist grip so unique? Well, as he himself put it, he's developed a very overextended claw grip, whereby his palm rests on the hump of the mouse, not the rear. This means that his fingers hang over the front, giving the appearance that he's claw gripping a mouse that's way too big for him. Why? Because he is. We know this because of how Twist's chaotic clamping technique came to be, a story behind this weird grip style. And let's just say, it wasn't by choice. It was because of a sponsorship. And the reason my mouse grip is like this is because in 2017, when I joined Team Liquid, uh, I was forced to switch from smaller mice to a bigger mouse because uh, Team Liquid had a Razer sponsorship at the time and I had to, move, I had to switch to Death Adder. And it's, it's a pretty big mouse and clawing it isn't always viable. So to compensate or I guess uh, adapt I overextended my fingers so I could still claw the mouse and, and feel like I'm in control of it. Now, it goes without saying that Twist's grip works for him. The dude won a Grand Slam, made HLTV's top 10, and was at one point statistically the most proficient head clicker in the whole of competitive Counter-Strike. There's no denying it. This kid is, well, cracked. I think that the most gifted player that I've ever played with mechanically is Twist, without a doubt. I think that he is more mechanically gifted than me. Uh, and I think that he really shines in uh, a lot of those uh, very hard, like aim duels and stuff like that. Holds them in front of bathrooms and Apex comes out to finish the job. Can't do it as easily as he'd hoped. Twist even gets one at range, down to just two. How does Twist find the second? Zywoo, he peeked out, AK available. He's gonna grab it on the run and he's got the bomb. He's got armor. This is a straight one on two, but Alex is close. Oh! Twist, he banked him out somehow, a third. He's using the Deagle. He's got confidence in his name, and he sees oh! it as a BK is yes! And That's... Twist shows us all that maple syrup is just another form of liquid. What's even crazier is that apparently it works for others as well. My boy Achieved, for instance, one of the top gunners on TSM's Siege roster, has become sort of reputed for running a grip that is staggeringly similar to Twist's, insofar as it's pretty much Carpal Tunnel Incarnate. Um, they're like, yo, do, does anyone else use like a grip like that? And I, I'm always like, I mean, Twist has a similar grip. And it's funny because like, I never like copied his grip or anything, you know? It was just like, I don't know, one day I just started like, I guess going up my mouse and eventually like my grip just became where it was. Achieve came from Xbox. So I wonder if it's like a, uh, I don't know, like a calling from, you know, his old, his old days of like, maybe like his claw grip on the, on the controller or whatever. I, I have no idea, but it is definitely, 
uh, cursed to say the least. He is like, he is up in there. His his fingernails are like rubbing against the mouse pad, essentially. But hey, this guy is nasty. Like Twists achieved frags the f out. Not only has he earned himself back-to-back -back third and fourth place finishes at the Six Invitational, but if it weren't for Bolo being an inhuman aim hacking divinity, Achieved could easily be the most consistent player on TSM. You want to be careful though, because he's not exactly in fighting shape, but he's allowed to swing out the support from his teammates. Gone, and what's this? Achieved allowed to run out. He's got a nitro cell as well. Oh my God, Achieved! Of course, there are downsides to this type of grip and they're pretty much exactly what you'd expect them to be. Uh, I will say the one thing about his grip that kind of sucks that I've noticed is that he has to re-center his like hands along with his mouse a lot. You can pick up the whole mouse, but it's it's harder, you know what I mean? So it's harder to, to like reposition your mouse whenever you're like doing 360s or, or stuff like that. So I do th kind of think that it's harder to reposition the mouse in certain instances, but I, I do think it, it does make it quote unquote more precise. But I, once again, I also haven't used another grip like a, just a regular claw or fingertip or palm. But if you ask Achieved, he'll tell you. He loves his grip and like Twists, thinks that there are genuinely positives to it. See, I don't know, I, kill, I feel, I do kind of feel indifferent because I really do like my grip. And I think personally, I think my grip, it makes it easier to be more precise. But I feel like this grip offers quite precise, like best movements. Uh, you could put like a lot of pressure down onto like the mouse pad and you just feel like really in control of it. The question, of course, is at what cost? Esports athletes don't care about their longevity for the most part when they're in the moment and they're at the peak of their game. You know, when you're the best of the best, you're not going to change anything that might take you off the, the podium. You know, so people are I, people are going to be very reluctant to kind of change for longevity's sake. But you see people, you know, ending their careers at 25 because they get injured and they can't play anymore. Now, that's not to say that either of these dudes' careers is going to be over at 25. It's simply a reminder that the importance of ergonomics cannot be overstated. Make no mistake, esports athletes are just as capable of sacrificing their bodies in the name of competition as, well, actual athletes. And it's just as much on the orgs, organizers, and developers to ensure that that doesn't happen as it is on the players themselves. I think that's something if esports want to continue to rise and they want actually care about player safety and they want to improve it, they need to find some way to either utilize sponsors to create adjustable peripherals or they need to allow players to use what they want. And to be clear, that is not a pot shot against Liquid. They are a world-class org who has since built a state-of-the-art gaming facility in Europe that fulfills their players and creators every need when it comes to diet, exercise, and equipment. Nowadays, Liquid permits their players to play how they want with whatever they want. That said, it's important to remember where esports started, the incredible strides it's made thus far, and how far it still needs to go if it has any hope of catching up with traditional sports. Because remember, Achieved's mouse grip was adopted entirely by choice. Twists, not so much. Which begs the question, would Twists have become an even nuttier rifler if he hadn't been forced to use such an ill-fitting peripheral? Or does part of his genius, his secret sauce, as it were, lie in the strangeness of his grip? Who can say? Maybe maybe in a different situation with, with a different mouse, maybe he wouldn't have gone to where he is. I mean, who, who can really say? But as far as, you know, his his arm and wrist health goes, I think that he'd be, he will end up being in a better spot if he has a mouse that fits his hand. But who knows? What we do know is that it speaks to his resilience as a player that Twists was not only able to overcome that mechanical barrier, but achieve such remarkable success in spite of it. So while I'm certainly not encouraging anyone to throw ergonomics to the wind and contort their hand like a frickin' pretzel, at the end of the day, the common wisdom continues to be true. It doesn't matter if you're Twists, Achieved, Bolo, or a Silver two. The best mouse grip is the one that feels most natural to you.
my whole method to the mouse grip is just like whatever feels good i mean i just put my hand on the mouse whatever feels comfortable i rock with it if it's working it's working if it's not it's not change it up um but yeah as long as you feel comfortable as long as you're not actually hurting your wrist or your your hand that's all that matters Unlike virtually every other aspect of your config, mouse grip has real life consequences. It won't just affect how sick you are in the server, but uh, outside of it as well. No amount of clout is worth carpal tunnel. I think your grip should be one that you feel you perform best with and is most comfortable. And, and everyone is different. Everyone's physiology and anatomy is different. I don't think there's a one size fits all best grip, just like in, in most workplaces or tasks, there's not a one size fits all method of doing one thing. And a high degree of variability exists in pretty much every industry. Is it true that mouse grips like twists and achieves could be improved from an ergonomic standpoint? Sure. But those dudes top priority isn't comfort, it's performance. They're out here trying to win majors. You're not. Don't compare yourselves to them. Do what feels right to you. Because at the end of the day, your body knows what feels right and what doesn't. The road to mastery may be long and arduous, but it shouldn't be painful. It's like that baby bay quote, man. And what was that quote he gave? Oh, it was so good. He was just like, when he came to Valorant and people were like, oh, it's so skillful, it's so hard. And he's just like, sorry, so you mean I had to headshot a Roadhog three times as Widowmaker behind two shields in the face? Yeah but I, I click a dude's chest with the op and he's dead. <laughs> like, oh, sorry. <laughs> like, like, yeah, I didn't realize your game was the, was the, yeah, the elite e-gamer game, sorry, yeah.